Hello everybody. Welcome to the probably last episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Awakening. We are on our way to the lair of mother after beating architect. Let's go. Am I going to the wrong way because I remember, you know, <laughs> completing that puzzle? <laughs> Let me see. The nest, yes! Oh, I am just outside of it! <laughs> Damn! Okay, let's do this. Kill that one! Before it just tries to chew on someone like it's doing right now kill it all right heavy hitter oh my god so many of them <laughs> Melana you need to do something about that like freezing them maybe let me just Try to click, okay. Yeah. Even if it means freezing myself. We need to deal with them quickly. Where is, where is your group heal? Where is it? Oh no! Drink the potion! You too! You move away from them. Damn it. What are you guys doing? Oh, freezing. <laughs> My fault. My bad. Sorry. Uh. What to do? Oh no, this is not good. Are they coming after me still? Uh, what to do? What to do? You... Bye! No, no, that one. Open. Hmm... Really? Okay. Drink your potion and then let's try to do uh, put some regeneration in yourself and Okay, you're almost dead. Oh shit, this is not good. No! Isn't it working? That's so silly. I don't understand. Okay, okay, come help me. Maybe I should deal with that one. Try to deal with that one. Hmm. All right. Oh, Grand, take this to And I get rid of your magic. Yes. Oh no. That was a mistake. Go and have them first. Wow, just you couldn't kill one. Sigrun, come back. We need you. Bring your potion and some Don't come to me. Die. Okay, no more. 
Oh, you're still frozen. That's good. Collecting some potions, hopefully. Yes. And lovely. This I hope also will be useful later of course mm -hmm. oh okay as you desire one more and let me try to heal Sikron oh you really need some but let me check if that was enough yes you also need something Okay. Okay, so it's time to go. Lovely. Maybe I should have saved first. Uh, ew! There she is. A lovely sight. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me try to check my potions. Not much, that's not good. But I was able to get by with worse before, so let's do this. If it isn't the hero of the hour, the slayer of the mighty father, come to claim a reward. <laughs> oh, Delicious day. That's a lot of nipples. By the ancestors. Do all brood mothers smell this bad? Creators preserve us. I have never seen such foulness. Am I not beautiful? <laughs> Has the Grey Warden come now to slay the mother too? Will she join the father in oblivion? <sighs> yeah, I know that the architect is the father, but maybe I... Yeah, let's... That depends. I want answers. some answers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you are brave. Once, beautiful music sang to us from the deep, called us mm -hmm. near. We would search for that voice. But the father, he was flawed. He heard only a twisted shadow of it. He hated what it did to us. He said he wanted to free us. But all he brought us was silence. Ah, dreadful silence. But now the father is gone. The mother can take her children deep into the earth and care for them. Safe and sound. Yeah, I'm not going to let you breathe more dark spawn, but <laughs> there's nothing else, no, no other choice actually. Until the next time you send them to oh, attack us again. The mother knows your ways. Mm. You will not let her be. No, of course not, not after what she's done. So it must end. It all must come. Okay, I okay. Now. I really wished for more answers than this. Perhaps we Let's... will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it Just shut up! Let it come! Oh no! Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> what the? <laughs> she is the true abomination! Like, oh my god! Oh shit, I was just trying to take Valana away from... What is this? This rediscovered Tevinter relic offers the power of heal allies 
Should I just go for this immediately? And what's this? Tower of Flame. The ancient Taventer monument now reactivated. Can a blast a single target? Okay. That's a blaster. And you know what I want you to do? You're down. Go to her and put a mark on her first. And you put the prison on her. Then go for the mark first and then this. Sick run, no, it's too early to die. And you put that on her. Oh no. Okay, what else? Alright, we are fine for now. What is this? This long dormant Taventer artifact is capable of stunning all creatures in the area. We don't have creatures, so let's wait for it. Wait for it. I'm dead! How come that happened? Oh no. You shouldn't have come all this way to heal her. Damn, no, no. Okay, it's time for this. Okay, who's that now? Oh no. This is not good. So you drink this and this. Huh, what is this decoy? No, not the time for that. Should drink another potion. I feel like I should do something else. They neutralized you. And what about you? You don't have enough stamina. I need this coming quickly. Let me just make her. Oh, Sir Pancelot, help us! Okay, you're useless that now, so I need to do something else. Come on, just get up. No, Belana, no. Oh, this is not good. Just drink, 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 drink. drink. All right. So many creatures around. <laughs> I'm going to put this on Sigrun is back You should stop bothering me Bro. 
Let's try. Yes. Do you have that power back yet? Yes, let's do it. Do that. And... Okay. What else? Wow, this is too much. But it's still harming her, so that's good, right? Uh, maybe I should neutralize these around me. Maybe I should focus on the mother. Oh, and myself. No, no. Uh, the revival is almost here. And Melana is going down. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! Okay! Wow! That was so close! Just leave me alone! Oh friend, how are you doing? Okay, time to wake myself up. Group heal. And you. Yeah. Oh no, my phone. No, stop phone, not now. Uh. It, she's almost dead. Okay. Just, let's just do this, yes. Place for that knife. <laughs> She's like, are we really done with this? Let's just get the heck out of here. <laughs> oh, it's done. Okay. <laughs> After the deaths of both the architect and the mother, nearly all the remaining darkspawn fled back into the deep roads. The raids on Amaranthine came to an abrupt end, abrupt end. Although some of the architect's disciples likely escaped into the deep roads with the rest of their brethren, they have so far shown no inclination towards vengeance against the Grey Wardens who killed their savior. Hmm. 
Yet the deep roads remain plagued by the dark spawn, and it seems certain that in time another blight will be gone. The danger may have passed for now, but the cycle of the old gods continues. Let me see, so if I just helped architect, would this be any different? Would, would it help, really help against blights? blights? You know, dark spam, mm, I don't really think that architect has the ability to control all of the dark spawn in Tedas, so I don't know. Would it really help? Okay, let's go. Continue. Word of the Grey Warden's heroic salvation of Amaranthin spread like wildfire. When the magnitude of the losers at Vigil Skip come to light, sympathy drove generous donations from all over Ferelden into the region's coffers. Amaranthin was restored to, restored to her former glory within a year, Vigil Skip in five. Because of the Warden's support for law and order in Amaranthine, Constable Aiden and his men were able to distribute the smugglers' goods to the battered survivors in the grueling days that followed the Dark Spawn defeat. That's good, that's good, okay. Although the war devastated many farms in the Arling, all agreed the loss would have been greater without soldiers for protection. Okay, the farm holders developed a certain reverence for the Warden Commander as well as ongoing reliance on the Grey Wardens for order and protection. So are you telling me that it was a good thing that I distributed my forces to every area possible? Okay, okay. Vigil Skip stood alone against a horde of Darkspawn. The Mother's forces outnumbered the Vigil's defenders many times over. Okay. But the sturdy dwarven walls proved impervious to any boulder and ogre could throw. The vigil soldiers clad in silverite each felt a dozen dark spawn before they died. The vigil held one night, then two, then a week, and eventually the attacking horde broke upon her walls. The keep developed an almost mythic reputation. The few survivors immortalized its song and legend. Peace allowed the wardens to replenish their numbers. Soon, Vigil Skip bore a capable army with wardens at its core. From their ranks emerged new heroes to challenge threats to Amaranthine and all of Feraldon. Through taxes and levies, the Vigil was rebuilt. Years later, Waldrick Glavonax stood on the battlements and pronounced that the defenses were acceptable, he would never speak more highly of any human engineering. Okay, dark whispers of conspiracy against the wardens fell silent after a rush of accidents and disappearances culminated in the apparent suicide of Ban Esmeral. The novels of Amaranthine remained dutiful, some even suggest they were caught into submission. Ha! Huh. <laughs> among the army, among the many legends that the Vigil spawned, was one of the great heroes of the next age, a sheepherder turned soldier by the name of Sir Alec the Valiant, who eventually founded an order of knights that lasted a thousand years. Ah, uh, let me think, that, that's the guy that I forgave and let him become a soldier, right? He stole something from us. Okay. Okay, that was also a good decision then. The commander's blade, Vigilance, crafted from the bones of an ancient dragon, was boldly stolen by Antiven Groves. Why, why, why would they stole my blade? They're just assassins. <laughs> The blade changed hands many times thereafter with some master swordsmen pursuing the weapon their entire lives. Some claim that this legendary blade has had a life of its own and that its power is steadily growing. <laughs> uh, it is possible, right? That dragon was something else. It wasn't really a normal dragon. Maybe it really has its own life, but I didn't even get the chance to use the blade because it was too much for my warden 
because I was a rock, so justice used it a little bit, I guess. Let's see, what else? Dworkin Glavornak further refined his lyrium sun explosives, but left the warden's employ after Knorri mercenaries tried to assassinate him. Although the dwarven bombardier took his secrets with him, the learned say he left clues for others to follow in his footsteps. Why the Kunari went after him? Huh. The vigil soldiers wearing the distinctive silverite armor that Master Wade crafted came to be known as the Silver Order under the Tutelage of the Wardens, the Silver Order developed into one of Ferelden's most revered military forces, a lasting memory of the Vigil's famous commander. With Velanna and the architect gone from the region, the pilgrim's path began to see traffic again. The massacre of the militiamen and the merchants, however, led to hostilities between the neighboring human settlements and any Dalish clans that passed by. Hmm. Where is Velamna? One woman villager soon kidnapped and murdered a Dalish child. Damn it. The clans reacted by giving the vending wood a wide berth, but both sides knew that at some point the elves will return for revenge. A few years late after Kal Hirol was emptied of Darkspawn, Orzammar began sending expeditions to rediscover the knowledge of smithing that had been lost within the Taig. Maybe they'll, they will also start building a new city around here. Eventually, House Halmi decided that Kal Hirol was too important to be abandoned. Yes! <laughs> At the tremendous cost of dwarven lives, they cleared the tunnels leading to Kal Hirol of all dark spawn, making the road between Orzaman and the forest safe again. Okay, Kal Hirol was reclaimed for Orzaman once and for Orzammar once and for all. You know that's that's really something huge. So the dwarven kingdom is much larger than it used to be now. It goes throughout Ferelden. In this case, that's nice. Oh, Black Marsh. In time, the Arling began to forget the tales of operations in Black Marsh. And ever so slowly, settlers drifted into the region. Scholars said the veil was still thin and thus the area still dangerous, but the people only cared that there were no longer frightened whispers in the shadows, if you say so. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. The village was slowly rebuilt, twice the Baroness's mansion was rebuilt and occupied, once by a wealthy merchant and another time by an Orlesian mage. Both died mysteriously, I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> Afterwards, the mansion was torn down completely and the site left untouched. <laughs> That place is still creepy, yes. <laughs> the survivors of the siege at Vigil's Keep hailed Anders and his magic for holding back hundreds of the assaulting darkspawn. In the ensuing victory celebration, the man dragged the mage to the fire and engaged him in a drinking contest. <laughs> Anders lost. <laughs> okay, he is alive and well, that's also good. Anders remained with the Grey Wardens a few years longer, training the Order's next generation of mages. But when the Circle Tower called on him to deliver a lecture on the nature of architect, much to the Templar's dismay, Anders told the commander of the Grey that his time with the Wardens was over. They were, I guess, actually trying to get on him again. <laughs> so he escaped. Hmm. And yet, not two months later, Anders returned to the Order, even after the Wardens were his home and his lasting companions. Okay, that's nice. Velanna never saw her clan again, but neither did she forsake her Dalish culture, nor her sharp tongue, nor her quick temper. Her friendship with the Warden Commander changed her opinions of humankind significantly. Shortly after the mother's defeat, darkspawn strugglers who still remained on the surface attacked a human village. 
Velanna was the only warden nearby and defended the village single-handedly. She did not sneer once. <laughs> Okay, Velanna scored the mother's lair for signs of her sister, but it was as though Serani had vanished into the thin air. Velanna blamed the warden commander for choosing to kill the architect, certain that the architect would have released her sister if he lived. This remained a source of friction for as long as Elisa and Velanna knew each other. Well, what can I say? I had to do it. Nathaniel managed to survive the battle at Vigil Skip, that's good, leading a spirited defense in the last minute to protect his family home. That ferocity impressed many of his fellow soldiers who hoisted him to their shoulders and paraded him around the courtyard when the battle was done. Over the next years, Nathaniel dedicated himself to the order and clearing the blemishes of his family's name. After saving Tern Fergus Kuzland from a bandit attack, a portion of Amarantin was returned to the house. So you saved my brother, hmm? Thank you. <laughs> Nathaniel passed the holding to Delilah's son, and when a new castle was eventually built there, a statue of Nathaniel was erected in its courtyard. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Justice. Justice fought valiantly at the battle for Vigil Skip, but before the victory horn sounded, a dark spawn sword removed Kristoff's hat. Okay, it was of course unclear whether the spirit of justice perished or simply departed. At the last, at the least, Kristoff's wife, Aura, was finally able to claim her husband's ashes. I wonder if this is about me not being able to get a very high approval with him, although he called me a friend in the end. Would he die if I was able to, you know, have a higher approval with him? I'm curious about it. But it was bound to happen, I guess. That body would not last. Hi, Sigrun. <laughs> With the mother dead, Sigrun seemed to lose her purpose. Why? She withdrew from her friends in the order and spoke to them less and less each day. One morning, Sigrun was simply absent, her bed made and her trunk emptied. A young recruit who had been up in the night said she had left for her calling, gone to finish what she started in Calhiron. Hmm. But I also missed her personal quest, right? Because of the bug of the game, so I don't know. Ogren continued to regale young warden recruits with his tales of his proofs in both battle and bed. <laughs> his drinking games promoted at least one recruit to declare that she's rather she'd rather reattempt to joining than lift another mug. <laughs> At the warden commander's urging, Ogren took a more active role in his child's life. He visited Felsi often and wrote letters, which the warden commander graciously proofread never ev nearly ev every week. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's good. Good Ogren. <laughs> as for the savior of Ferelden, me, she did not remain as commander for the Grey for long. Okay, the dark spawn were no longer a real concern, the blight well and truly over, it was time for her to move on. To the palace? <laughs> she returned to life at court, yes, res resuming her duties as Queen of Ferelden and receiving a hero's welcome when she rode back into the capital. King Alistair awaited her at the palace gates, grinning from ear to ear. Some years later, the savior of Ferelden vanished and Why? Vanished entirely. Nobody knows for what purpose she departed, yet neither does anyone think her tale is complete. Don't tell me she's gone for her calling, it's too early. No. What happened to my warden? Okay, there's still witch hunt, right? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's not think about it right yet, no. And done! 
That was really good. I like this DLC a lot, really. <laughs> it was really nice to see my warden continuing her story. Although I missed my old companions, especially Alistair and Morrigan. <sighs> I don't know, but there's still more to see, so... I will make sure to talk about everything else when I finish all of it. And I am going after Morgan actually, so I know that Witch Hunt DLC is about that. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. How am I going to find her or what's going to happen if I ever find her? So let's meet again everybody i hope that you enjoyed this playthrough of awakening dlc and i hope to see you guys again in the continuation so take care of yourselves take care of yourselves during these times that we all as world going through hard times with coronavirus situation stay healthy self and see you next time Bye-bye.